So in order to find the top dead center of the compression stroke, it can be kind of tricky because you have to differentiate it between like a exhaust stroke or an intake stroke. So what we figured you can do is take this little adapter here and we have a little balloon on the end of it. This screws into the cylinder and if it's on an exhaust stroke, then it won't be building pressure. If it's on the intake stroke, it won't be building pressure. But on the, com on the uh, compression stroke, this balloon will blow up. So we know we're on the compression stroke. Then once we know we're on the compression stroke, we can take a long stick, put it in there, and then do the fine adjustments to get it right at top dead center. With a wrench on the crank pulley here, we can turn the engine over so we can fine tune it and find top dead center. When you see there's vacuum in the balloon right now, you know the piston's going, going down. And right now you can see it's just about done going down. The vacuum is basically puffed up. We know that we're on the compression stroke, so we'll stop turning it over and then we can fine tune it with the stick. Now we can go ahead and remove this rubber hose here and put the wooden stick in. It's a good idea not to use a metal screwdriver so you don't kind of get stuck in there or if it gets cockeyed, you don't want it to like bend the cylinder or anything. So when this is right there at the top, as far as it can go down, what you want to do is just slowly crank the piston and you should feel it go down. Now I'm feeling it go down, so crank it the other direction a little bit. So now it's coming back up. A little more. A little bit more. And right there. So right now we're at top dead center. That's the highest position that the piston's in. Instead of a, using a balloon, you can just use your thumb, put it on there, and feel the pressure. Now, when the piston comes up, it only comes up twice. There's one on the exhaust stroke and one on the compression stroke. So you have a 50-50 chance of getting it right. So that's how you find top dead center on the compression stroke. Just for instance, if you're doing a cylinder leak down test. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.